what happens when mixing R22, with some of its substitutes, in an air conditioning or refrigeration system. Here, we present 14 compelling reasons, to avoid these unfamiliar blends, and not introduce any gas other than R22 into the system. It can lead to a reduction in cooling capacity. It might cause a loss of efficiency, resulting in an increased electricity consumption. This, in turn, can lead to a rise in the average compressor temperature, affecting the lubricant and the machine's lifespan. There's a possibility that the discharge temperature of the mixture at the compressor's outlet will be higher than normal. Depending on the blend, lubrication issues might arise. For instance, combining gases like R22 and R417A can result in unpredictable pressures and temperatures, negatively impacting efficiency and durability. The unpredictability of pressures, temperatures, and the loss of oil return could harm the system. Excessive slippage might occur in the resulting blend. Remember, slippage refers to the refrigerant's temperature increase, as seen in the evaporator, for example. A high slip value, such as in the evaporator, could lead to very high temperatures at its outlet, affecting the cooling process. In cases where the mixture has a high slip value, the temperature at the evaporator's outlet might become excessively high. This could result in a compressor suction temperature above normal. Even with slight variations in thermal loads, the new mixture could cause freezing in the evaporator. If the system uses pressure switches, unusual pressures could activate these control devices. Some substitutes aren't compatible with the mineral oil traditionally used with R22, like R407C, which affects oil return. If the equipment incorporates a thermostatic expansion valve, its operation might be affected as the superheat value, measured by the bulb, or a sensor becomes unpredictable. Environmental impact must not be overlooked. Blends affect the atmosphere and the environment. While not illegal, irresponsible use contributes to environmental harm. In essence, it's crucial to avoid preparing refrigerant blends with R22. Each of these points demonstrates that responsible choices and adherence to safe practices are essential for optimal performance and to safeguard both the equipment and the environment.